Hey guys, so it's Tara Talks Beauty, and today I'm actually gonna make a video that's not about beauty. And even though I am gonna make a video about beauty after this, so if I'm wearing the same kind of business cash shirt, that's why. So, one thing that has been really, really life changing for me is that I went on my first Whole30, which you don't know what a Whole30 is. It's basically a really, really strict version of the paleo diet. The paleo diet is basically eating like our paleolithic ancestors did which is grass-fed beef, um, organic type of meats, no hormones, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, no grains, no gluten, no lactose, no bread, even though that's a grain, no corn, no beans, no peanuts, and it sounds bad because I can't have my ice cream, but it is one of the best diets, not diets, but lifestyles that I've ever been on, and within, I went on it July 15th of 2013, and since it is now August 26th, I have the phone of a, a caveman because I didn't get an iPhone yet, but that's not why we're doing the video. And the reason, not the reason, um, I actually lost around, ballpark it, 20 pounds. And I think 20 pounds in a month is a lot of weight, and especially because I had such a hard time losing weight for a couple years. I either did it the unhealthy way or I thought that I had to restrict myself to lose weight. And on this lifestyle change, I was able to exercise and eat healthy fats. And I really trained my brain to realize that fat is not bad for you. It's more the different processed foods I used to eat, especially I'd have like 500 calorie snacks. That's 500 calories. And now if I'm really hungry, I ask myself like, you know, am I craving something? You know, because if I know I can't have ice cream, my brain, you know, it can fight, but I ain't giving in. Except sometimes, but not in the whole 30. 30 days of nothing. So you also can't have alcohol, but that wasn't really an issue because I don't drink. Not 21, plus I just don't. <laughs> so if you are of age to drink, that might be something that, you know, you have to give up, but I think it's worth it. Everyone at my gym who did it, around 50 of us did it look amazing and I am really, really proud of them and I'm really proud of myself for finally sticking with something. And so I'm actually gonna go through and show you different foods I eat and I will show you right now if I unplug this camera. Okay. Come with me, camera. Okay, so I am, oh, was that just upside down? Okay, well I am walking into my kitchen Sorry, I have no makeup on right now, but I didn't think I really needed it for a cooking video. And so I'm gonna go through different things that I ate on my Whole30. Okay, so I am gonna go through this. First, great breakfast that I had was eggs. Um, when you're on the Whole30, you don't even need to make it egg whites, have a full egg mixed with a fat source, and since eggs have fat in it, because if you're only having egg whites, you're getting rid of a fat source. So, tons of eggs I went through. Healthy vegetables, such as a tomato, and um, peppers, really anything besides corn, and certain types of peas. I had organic produce, apples, um, bananas. Well, there's actually a clean and dirty list of fruits and vegetables that if you Google Whole30, then you'll be able to read. Like avocados, you don't really need to buy organic because they're more on the clean list. Whereas apples and um, other things are on the dirty list. Naughty, naughty. And you should buy them organically because they're a lot less bad for you. So, shall we continue? Um. One thing that was a savior was my Brita water. Um, I drank probably anywhere from 10 to 12 glasses of water a day, which was also a huge change because I never really was into drinking water. I would drink soda, diet soda is my best friend, even though now it isn't because we broke up. But great, great thing. Brita saves so much money. You can use tap water and it just filters it and it makes it delicious and affordable. I also, I never mentioned that I CrossFit um, a couple days a week. And so that also helped keep me on the diet. Well, not the diet, the lifestyle change. 
because everyone at my gym is doing it. And so one thing that I've had after my CrossFit workouts, any of you guys are fellow CrossFitters, was SFH Recovery Whey Protein Chocolate Flavor. I heard the vanilla wasn't as good, but one day I'll try it and I'll tell you. And it says no antibiotics, no hormones. Focus camera. Um, no, no soy lechintin. Lechithin. I don't know, but it ain't soy. No gluten and no added carbs. This, um, they t recommended me try it with coconut um, water. And when I tried it, I wasn't a fan of it. But when I tried it with water, which is actually even less calories, I loved it and less sugar. So if you do work out CrossFit, I use this after my workout. There's also one that's not recovery, but it's just regular and I loved it. And even though it's tons of protein, I still lost weight because I was eating things that weren't bad for me. So even with the extra added protein bonus, I, oh, this is another pepper. I was able to lose weight. So this is not just a red thing. It looks like my heart. No, I don't eat hearts. No, I don't. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. She's like a heart, but missing like the bottom. Okay, well this is a grass-fed burger. Um, basically the standard thing is either eat the leanest piece of grain-fed burger that you could find, or eat the fattiest piece of a grass-fed burger. And the whole point of eating the leanest isn't actually because of um, that you need to for just eating less fat, because the whole diet is about eating more fats and treating your brain that fat is fuel and fat is not gonna make you fat. You know, it's gonna make you more leaner, especially if you're eating, you know, it's a specific diet or a lifestyle. I keep saying diet, but I know it's not a diet because it's long-term. And so I recommend getting the rest of the beef. I don't think it's too much more expensive and I actually like it a lot better. It's really, really juicy and it's great. I got it at my local supermarket and really, really good. So my family, oh, sorry, I was going like, uh, 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 okay. Next thing I eat for chicken, which I will turn the camera, is Reddington Farms, 99% fat free, all natural, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I don't know if this is one just produced for my local uh, supermarket, but I'm sure every supermarket has organic or natural options. This was the best option I could get at my local supermarket. And even though it's fat free and I go for the fat, I would add extra fat in with my dinner. Just so if I was missing fat in this case, I was gaining it back with other ways. Another thing that has been a lifesaver that I actually discovered after my Whole30, and if I had it during my Whole30, I would be happy as a clam, are coconut aminos, raw coconut aminos. 100% organic, gluten-free, daily, daily free, no, you have to buy it, non-GMO and organic. And this is basically like a soy sauce substitute without the soy, because you also avoid soy in this diet, see, we haven't figured, no soy. So if you go to sushi, and if you find a way to eat sushi around it, you can totally get coconut aminos, got it at Whole Foods, literally screamed in the aisle when I saw it, I was like, oh! Next, as my dessert of choice, and what saved me through my sugar fixes, even though I probably could have limited them a little more, are Lara Bars. Certain Lara Bars with peanut butter are in um, paleo, just because we're not supposed to have peanuts since they're grains, but coconut cream pie, key lime pie, which I've never tried yet, apple pie is really good, banana bread, Tropical fruit tart I never had yet. Blueberry muffin, they're all great, except the two I didn't have yet because I don't know. And I'm assuming that they're fantastic. And my dad likes them, my mom likes them, and they're not even on the diet or the lifestyle, and they think it's phenomenal. Next, for a nice buttery spread, I got sun butter organic. I actually like regular sun butter before I even got the organic kind, but the organic kind is better since it doesn't have added sugars, and I think it's really, really good. I added straws in here. I don't even need to show you straws, but I thought it kind of looked pretty, so 100 flexible straws. Um, coconut milk, almond milk. You're supposed to use almond milk and coconut milk that are in cans, not really ones like this because they have guar gum, I think. Um, filtered butter, coconut cream, tricalcium phosphate, carrageenan, sea salt. Okay, well basically, coconut and almond milk I got more used to but on the specific Whole30, I actually didn't have them, but they are better for you than normal milk. And the first time I had a glass of regular, even skim milk, after the Whole30, I literally threw up. 
Next for almond butter is Mara Netha, organic raw almond butter and creamy, really, really good. The only ingredients in almonds, some blueberries, some seltzer, which I had tons of, Vita Coco, which was an occasional treat. Um, I didn't, you're not allowed to have butter, but the best type of butter for the paleo diet is grass-fed butter, which you can make into ghee, which maybe I'll make a video on, or you can also make it into um, bulletproof coffee, which I'm not a huge coffee person, but I'm gonna purchase it. Grapes, which I froze sometimes. Sorry, my camera's dying, I'm gonna rush. Strawberries, coconut flakes I munched on, which it's actually kind of funny, because you still lose weight on this diet if you do it correctly unless you're at your optimal weight, and it has 43% of saturated daily fat, but it's a great snack, and I have like a handful of coconut flakes dry, you can even toast them, balsamic vinegar and olive oil on salads, and I cook with virgin coconut oil with grass-fed beef, chicken, love it, um, what happened? It has more fat, which kind of can scare you, but the thing is, is that it is really, really healthy, and I find that the coconut oil Makes it have a little coconut taste, but I really, really like it. Next things I had are hazelnuts, which the diet says are one of the healthiest nuts for you, as well as cashews. I couldn't have peanuts, but I also had Cajun cashews, which were my favorite. And so that's really all I ate. I mean, I didn't, um, I didn't really cut back on my actual food intake. I just made it healthier choices. And as you can see, everything here really is delicious. It's just I'm not, you know, having brownies. I'm not having pancakes. I'm not having tons of Oreo cookies, and you can actually paleo -fy almost any recipe. So after the initial 30 days of like the sugar detox, you can make you know paleo pizza or paleo pancakes or paleo brownies, I'm sure, and you can have a really nice time. So I hope that maybe you'll consider going on this, and my food and I, we thank you. Bye, hope you liked it, and hope you think it was informative. Please email me with any questions you might have. This is my bird, I'm just gonna say hi real quick. Say hi! Say hi, George! Yay! Hi!